Hi, welcome to the third part of this short series on networking. At the beginning of part one, I mentioned that the focus of clarity shifts depending on the stage you've reached in your job search. First of all, you need to help people know how they can help you with the questions you ask. Once you have clarity or a clear handle on what you're looking for in, the, or by, in terms of the industry, the role, your focus is shift to gaining insights so that you're competitive as a candidate. When looking for clarity, we're looking for tactical and operational information. What does a typical day look like? What tools do you use? How much travel? Uh, is your job routine every day or is it project based with a clear project life cycle? One important aspect is to discover the organization's culture. Does it mes mesh with your own personal values? Don't rely on desk research to provide this answer. Published descriptions of culture often are what the organization wants the world to believe, not necessarily how they behave on a day-to-day -day basis. I was once interviewed at a company where the CFO had trust is efficient written on his office door. I thought it matched my values well to work in a place where you didn't have to second guess people. They meant what they said and said what they meant. While I was there, I discovered no behaviors that supported that motto. How could I have known? Well, I should have explained that it resonated with me and asked them for examples of how it played out in everyday life. I might have learned the truth. When we're looking for insight, we should be looking for information about long-term challenges and trends, things that are affecting the industry, the company and the department. What new technologies are coming down the line much more strategic information. Why do you need to do this research and gather this information? Well, besides the obvious of gaining information so you can put a focused and competitive resume and cover letter together and sounding like an industry and company insider, sometimes the process just doesn't deliver a job. In that case, your research needs to undercover what their real needs are so you can match these and make explicit needs contribution statements and justify them creating a role for you. While it's good to network with hiring managers and other decision makers, more junior staff and recent hires can help you start to sound and look the part an industry and company insider. In fact, it's best to iron out the mistakes with junior staff. You don't want to make those start mistakes in front of hiring managers and other decision makers. Recent new hires can give you the inside scoop on the interview process, which a hiring manager never will. It's impossible to predict how long networking will take to deliver a job. But one thing is certain, it is never too early to start networking. The next session of this video series covers networking conversations. I'll hope you'll join me for that section.